In this short video, I walk through the key steps to help you design your own custom styles and base maps for the Mapbox Visual in Power BI. And doing this, we can make some really nice, unique and interesting maps. I'm Alice from Discovery AI, and I love designing cool maps. So the first step is to create a map in Power BI using the Mapbox Custom Visual. And here you can see we've created three maps to help design our future cities to accommodate not only population growth, but also our environmental and social values. Like lots of the other examples I've been presenting in my tutorials, the data here is synthetic and I've created it for demonstration purposes only. If you're new to Mapbox or you need a bit of a refresher, then um, I recommend checking out my Mapbox 101 video tutorial where I walk through the key steps to help you get started creating some of these maps really quickly. So let's take a closer look at our river basin map. And here it would be really great if we could also see our catchment management authority boundaries on this map, as well as the river basins. So let's go into the format options and under the viz settings, you can see here that we're using the outdoor layer, which is one of the map boxes default predefined styles. At the bottom of the list, you'll see that we also have an option to customize our map style. To get started creating our own style, the next step is generally to upload our own custom tile set to the Mapbox Studio. So here you can see we've got our boundaries for our catchment management authorities, and this is a shape file. So if we head across to our Mapbox Studio, we can import our shapefile here by dragging in our zipped folder. So you can see that this is uploading to the Mapbox Studio and we've got a new tile set here added into our gallery. You can see that it's been successfully uploaded and now we're ready to go and create our own custom map style. The easiest way to get started is by duplicating an existing map box style from the gallery. So we can simply start by hitting new style and we can choose from a couple of existing styles here. So we've got outdoors, we've got streets, but I like outdoors. It's quite simple, um, but it has a lot of detail when you zoom in. So it's a really nice layer. And when we zoom out, you can see how the symbology changes. Um, so there's some really nice effects in the map box layers. It's always a good idea to rename your map box style. So you can rename it in the top left corner here. So let's head across to Australia and zoom in down to our region in Victoria here. The next step is to now add some custom layers and features to create our own unique map style. So I'm going to keep it simple here um, and I'm going to add a new layer in. So let's search for our CMA um, or Catch a Management Authority boundary layer which we just added. So let's change it from a polygon into a line. and we can also adjust the style of this line. So let's start by adjusting the line color. I'm gonna choose a nice pink because um, we don't have too much else on this map, which is pink. And when designing maps, you want to have really contrasting colors so that um, the key features of interest, they stand out. So here I've just adjusted my line width as well, just to make it a little bit more bold. If we head back over to the color option, you can see there's a couple of different ways that we can style our colors. So we can dynamically change the color based on a data field or a formula. But a really cool effect is to actually change the line color based on a zoom range. So let's add another zoomed range here and we can change um, the zoom level we want to refer to. 
So we want this color to kick in when we hit zoom level 10. And let's change it to a really nice royal blue. Cool, so that looks good. Now when we zoom out, you can see that the color changes from the nice pink to this really nice royal blue when we get closer. So while the colors, they don't mean too much in this example, um, I'm just kind of showing you how you can do it. You could imagine how powerful this could be um, on different types of maps that you create. So the last step is to now go and add our custom style into our map box visual within Power BI. So selecting the ellipsis, we can copy our style URL. And heading back into Power BI, Let's drill down onto the rivers so that we can um, see this new style a bit easier. We can select our custom style and paste the style URL in. And it's really that easy. So zooming out, you can see the colors changing dynamically based on that gradient that we set. And now we have a lot more context here to help us interpret our data. If you want to learn more about the awesome things you can do in Mapbox and Power BI, then take a look at my other video tutorials where I walk through how to get started quickly, how to create some 3D maps, and how to create some really cool drill down effects. If you're keen to learn more about Power BI, then please get in touch with our team at Discovery AI and register for one of our online Power BI designer masterclasses. Or for those Enviros out there, then check out our Power BI for the environmental industry tailored training. Have fun and thanks so much for watching.